everyone, welcome to my 2023 PCT gear video. So this is going to be a video showing every single item that I'm taking with me out on trail this year, as well as a few items that I plan on having shipped to me once I reach Kennedy Meadows and before I go into the Sierras. So first up is going to be my backpack, and I did choose to go with the Hyperlight Mountain Gear Junction 3400. Um, absolutely love this bag. I tried two other bags before I ultimately settled on this one. Um, it's just the most comfortable fit for my body and my frame. Um, I particularly like the low profile straps here. Uh, they fit comfortably across my chest and they don't rub my arms raw when I'm hiking. Um, I also love the mesh pocket here in the front. It's huge. It fits a lot of things. Um, I can keep things that I want easy access to, like first aid kit and poop kit in here, um, as well as my puffy jacket if I want to shed a layer. Um, another great feature is if I have any condensation or dew on my rain tarp in the morning um, and I don't want to get the rest of my items in my backpack wet, I can keep that in here until I have an opportunity to lay it out to let it dry. So next up is going to be my sleeping pads, and I do say pads plural because I haven't decided which one I actually want to take on trail yet, but I'm, I'm leaning towards an answer, but I want y'all's opinion on what you think I should do. Um, I have the Thermarest Neo Air X Therm. This is an amazing pad. Uh, it's got a 6.9 R value, so it keeps me incredibly warm uh, when I use it, but the only downside is I ordered the mummy version instead of the rectangular version. So it's really narrow at the bottom and I sleep with my feet like this. So my feet are completely off the pad at night, which means they're not retaining any heat or any warmth. So I'm reluctantly not taking this pad and instead I am going to take the Nemo Quasar 3D. Um, this weighs a little bit more and the R value is not quite as warm, but it's incredibly comfortable. So. That's why I'm gonna bring this one. Um, I've slept on this multiple nights now and I've slept so well that I've actually woke myself up with drool. So I'll know I'll have a uh, comfortable night's sleep with this. Um, my options to keep myself a little bit warmer are um, an extra pair of sleep socks that I wasn't originally planning on bringing. And I'm also going to bring the Thermarest Z-Light. Um, I didn't want to bring this until I got to the Sierras, but because I'm having to switch up my sleeping pad last minute, um, I am going to be bringing this, uh, hopefully, to just increase the R value of my pad and keep me a little bit extra warm at night. For my sleeping bag, I am going to be taking the Mountain Hardware Phantom 15. Absolutely love this bag. Incredibly warm and comfortable and uh, no complaints about this one, really. For a luxury item, I am bringing a pillow. This is going to be the Sea to Summit Eros Premium Deluxe Pillow. For my tent, I am bringing... The Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL2 tent. I did decide to go with a two person tent because I want a little bit of extra wiggle room so I can have my pack in there with me. Um, also so I have a little bit of extra you know, room to move around, stretch and change my clothes while I'm in there. Um, I am gonna be keeping each of the items for my tent packed separately just so it's a little bit easier to fit inside my backpack. So I have the actual tent itself in this bag. I've got the rain tarp in this bag, ground cloth, tent stakes and the tent poles. So next up is going to be the clothes that I'm wearing on trail. Um, I do have a pair of Under Armour underwear as well as an Under Armour sports bra. Um, I like this one because it has a little bit more support. Um, so I'm taking this one with me. Uh, as far as my shirt goes, I'm going to be wearing the Mountain Hardware Crater Lake Sun hoodie. I love this because it's got the long sleeves with a similar uh, thumb feature here so I can keep my wrists protected. Um, it's also got a hoodie so I can pull that up over my cap in case I feel the back of my neck getting burned. And it does have UV built into it. So absolutely love these. I, I think I probably got like five or six of these shirts. Um, I'm also going to be wearing a pair of shorts out on trail. These are the Under Armour running shorts. Um, they're a little bit longer and they're really flowy. So I'm hoping that... Um, is a comfortable fit for me. I do have a pair of biker shorts also in case I find that this isn't comfortable, but I'm gonna be starting with these. For socks, I'm bringing two pairs of um, Njinji toe socks. These are gonna be the trail socks, so I'm actually not doubling up with a pair of darn tufts like most people do. Um, I find if you get the trail socks versus the liners, these are thick enough and I have never had a blister with them yet. Uh, so knock on wood that I don't get blisters while I'm out there. Uh, I'm sure it'll happen, but so far this has been my my ride or die and it's worked out well for me. So I'm also going to be bringing two pairs of gloves with me and I'm going to keep these in my hip belt pockets the entire way uh, just so I can easily access them and interchange them. One pair is going to be a pair of REI sun gloves. Um, I do burn pretty easily here on my hand and I've gotten blisters twice now 
Um, you know, with my trekking poles like this, the sun really does a lot of damage here. So I try to keep my shirt pulled up over with a pair of sun gloves. And since doing that, I haven't got those blisters. Um, so bringing sun gloves and I'll also be putting sunscreen on. Um, I'm also bringing a pair of smart wool, merino wool um, gloves. This will be for like in the morning or at night if it's cold and I wanna warm my hands up. So I'll have both of these readily available. They pack down pretty small. They don't hardly weigh anything. So any item that I'm not wearing on my body, I'm going to keep inside my backpack in this stuff sack. Uh, this is an adorable little bag from Hightail Designs. It's the large size. I absolutely love this bag. Um, but yeah, this is where I'll be storing all of my clothes that I'm not wearing on my body or keeping in the outside pocket like um, my jacket. In my clothing sack, I'm going to keep my extra um, layers for warmth as well as my sleep clothes and the extra socks. So the extra pair of Njinji toe liners that I'm not wearing while I'm hiking, I will keep inside my clothes bag as well as this Mountain Hardware Air Mesh hoodie. Um, it has a really nice um, fleece liner, if you can see here. Um, it also has holes, so the ventilation is incredible. So you stay really, really warm, but you don't sweat. Uh, so absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite items of clothing that I'm taking. Another item that I'm bringing is gonna be sleep clothes. I know that's a little bit controversial. Um, I do wanna bring these to start, and if I find I'm not really needing them, I can ship them back. Um, but I'm going to have a pair of pants and a top. They're both the REI brand merino wool base layers. I'm also going to have a pair of sleep socks. These are um, alpaca socks. They don't pack down very small. Um, they're incredibly thick, but they keep my feet so warm. So I'm also going to pack a rain jacket and I'm going to pack a puffy jacket. Um, this one is going to be a Mountain Hardware uh, Ghost Whisper puffy jacket. So the last few clothing items that I'm going to take with me are going to be hats. Um, I'm taking this baseball cap um, to protect myself from the sun, um, but sometimes I get headaches if I wear baseball caps for too long. So I'm also bringing a buff. Um, that way I can put this on my head and protect my forehead a little bit as well as the back of my neck. Um, I'm also bringing a beanie in case it gets cold at night. Um, I can put this on, um, well, I can wear it during the day if it's cold or I can wear it at night and I can also pull it down over my eyes so that I get a little bit better sleep at night. And I'm also going to bring a bandana and this I will use as a snot rag. So I'm bringing two pairs of shoes, um, my actual trail shoes that I'll be hiking in day to day. This is going to be the Hoka 1-1 Clifton shoe. Um, this sole on this shoe is thick. I absolutely love it. Um, it's like I'm walking on a cloud. Um, I was all about the Speed Goat 4s. Um, that was my ride or die for like two years, but when they switched to the Speed Goat 5, it just doesn't feel the same. So I switched up to the Clifton and I'm really happy with these so far. And I'm also bringing this adorable little pair of pink Crocs as my town shoes and camp shoes. I will also be starting with my Catula brand Micro Spikes. I'm also going to bring some trekking poles. These are gonna be the Black Diamond trekking poles. So for my food bag, I do have a Hilltops pack. Uh, this is a size large with a flat bottom. I think this can easily fit up to nine days worth of food. And um, I like the color, that way it's easy for me to identify which food bag is mine in case I'm ever camping with a couple of other hikers. Um, I don't want anybody touching my food. So for my water filtration system, I'm going to bring the Sawyer Squeeze filter. I'm also going to bring a Canuck two liter bladder. And then on either side of the outside pockets of my backpack, I'm going to have a one liter bottle of water as well. For hygiene, I am going to bring a Nomadics um, bath towel. And the reason I'm bringing this is because um, I don't know how many hotels I'm gonna be staying at. So if I'm staying at campgrounds with showers, they're not gonna have towels for me. Uh, so I'm gonna want to dry off. Um, that's my reasoning behind this one. I feel like this is probably something a lot of people are gonna say, don't bring it. Um, but I am going to start with it, and if I find I don't need it, I can uh, send this home. I'm also going to bring a hygiene bag, and inside here I'm going to keep things like a mirror, a hairbrush, a toothbrush, toothpaste tablets, floss picks, porta wipes, deodorant. These little baggies that I made for myself, um, they've got different types of ponytails depending on how I want to put my hair up. Um, the bigger ones are for um, like at the crown of my head, and then the smaller ones are for if I braid my hair and I want to put a little clip at the bottom and then I also have a little spoolie in there. So next up is my poop bag. Inside here I've got quite a few things. Uh, this is going to live on the outside mesh pocket of my backpack so I can easily reach everything. Um, I have the Deuce number no. 3 trowel, a few feminine care items. I've got hand sanitizer and I chose to go with the spray version rather than the pop top. Um, I have better luck with these not leaking. Several different packs of baby wipes, um, and I split them up into these packs rather than bringing the entire bulky thing just to save some weight. 
Uh, Cozy's gonna be sending me resupply packages and he can send me extras of these. I think I've got like three or four in my bag, uh, but it just kind of helps reduce some weight. I've also got this Squirrel Nut Butters uh, Anti-Chafe Cream. I'm also going to bring this Ziploc bag. I've got it covered in duct tape for privacy. Um, I'm gonna keep all of my trash in here, so whether that's food trash or bathroom trash, um, that will all go in here, and then I will have to hike it out until I get to town and can throw it away. Um, and the duct tape, I, like I said, is just there for privacy. So for electronics, a Garmin inReach, a 20,000 milliamp power bank, a gimbal. I also have an electronics bag. And inside here, I'm keeping a power bank, anchor, charging cube, and I'm also going to bring a mask, and I'm just gonna keep the charging cube wrapped up in this because um, the prongs, while they do collapse into the cube itself, um, they're kind of sharp, so I wanna make sure that this doesn't puncture a hole in my bag. A phone charger, a cord for the gimbal, a cord for the power bank, and a cord for the Garmin. I'm also bringing a first aid kit, and inside the first aid kit, I have items like toenail clippers, two safety pins, a tick remover, various types of band-aids, alcohol wipes, allergy medicine, Medilite, a lancet, moleskin, and ibuprofen and mitol. I'm also going to bring several different types of sunscreen because I do have really sensitive skin. I'm going to bring sunscreen for my body, sunscreen for my face, and chapstick with sunscreen. I'm also going to bring a head net for bugs. And when I get to Oregon and Washington, I'm also going to have insect repellent. For safety, I will also be bringing a knife. And I can either wear this around my neck or keep it in my fanny pack. And Kosi wants me to bring pepper spray. I'm also going to bring a headlamp and this is the Black Diamond Storm 450. Um, I know a lot of people will switch out the straps to a little bit of a thinner one. Um, but I actually like the thicker strap. My head's kind of flat on the back, so um, if I put something too thin back there, it might just roll right off. I'll also be bringing a pair of cute sunglasses. So for my fanny pack, I'm going with this Hightail Designs fanny pack. Um, it's pretty big. It's going to fit a lot of um, items like my pepper spray, my knife, my cell phone, my wallet, uh, snacks, things like that. Um, it's got a pocket back here that I'm probably going to keep my phone in. And then, and then this internal pocket is probably where I'll keep my wallet. Uh, stored in here like this just so that it's safe um, and then I'll, like I said I can keep like my headlamp my phone snacks um, anything that's not in the side pockets of my backpack I can keep in here I'm also going to be bringing a few carabiners uh, my cousins actually got me these thank you girls so much it was so sweet of you guys um, but I'm going to use these to like hook on the waist of my fanny pack that way I can take my my hat off and on and just kind of hook it on here while I'm hiking um, just an easier way to fashion it and then um, the other things, I'm going to probably use these to attach my camp shoes. I'm also going to be bringing a Kula cloth. I'm also going to keep my PCT permit and my California fire permit in a Ziploc bag stored inside my backpack. So before I go into the Sierras, I'm also going to have Kosi ship me a few extra items. Um, I'm going to have him ship me my bear can. I'm also going to have him ship me my ice axe, a couple of warmer layers, and potentially crampons depending on how the snow looks. Okay, so that is everything that I'm starting the Pacific Coast Trail with this year. I'm sure these items might change along the way, um, but I wanted to document everything that I'm starting with. Um, if you noticed anything important that I'm missing, please comment that down below. Um, but next up is gonna be my resupply video, and then after that, I'll be out on trail. Uh, we're actually leaving tomorrow for California, and I'm just a jittery little nervous bug, so so excited but nervous and i just can't believe this day is finally here and i'm on cloud nine and i hope you guys join me for the journey thanks everybody bye